Back working on the Silverado here. Down there on the underneath of the exhaust manifold, you will see a little tiny union, just one, one little union where that line split, and then a quick fix. They just put a put a union there, patch up the rust hole, and away they went. That's okay, but eventually you got to get back around to replacing it. Well, what happens is as these trucks get old, this one's a '98, so it's fairly old. You have band-aid fix after band-aid fix. You know, mechanic in in one place did something different, and mechanic in another place did. And what will wind up happening is after a while, all those band-aids come to bite you in the butt. So I took out that rear brake line, and this is what I found. I tried to take it out in one piece, and I wasn't successful. I had to cut it. But anyway, come out of the ABS motor, do our little whoop-de-doo, and then oh no, we had a line split. Well, let's put a union on it and we'll just we'll be good we'll keep going and then uh, uh oh we had another line split well what are you gonna do now we'll just put a union on it it'll be okay let's keep going to the rear wheel and then uh oh got another union and then eventually we get back to the rear wheel so what will happen is every single one of those unions is an opportunity to either leak air or trap air or just in general, the system won't hold enough pressure, or you have another opportunity for an air bubble to get trapped that you're never able to bleed out. So in, I don't know, 15, 16 feet of line, you got one, two, three unions, instead of just replacing it with one whole big line and doing it the right way, which is what I have to do now. And there's nothing more fun than fixing another man's poor work. So, there we go. I'll fix it up and we'll try it out.